Hi there, and welcome back to Pinch of Cooking. I am back with more hot chocolate bombs. And today I will be making hot chocolate bombs based on one of my favorite coffee shop drinks, caramel raspberry mochaccino. Quick announcement. I am loving making hot chocolate bombs so much and I have so many flavor ideas that I'm making this small series on my channel concurrent with my other cooking videos. So if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any of my future episodes. I wish you could smell and taste it. It came out so ridiculously good. And I'm so excited to share this recipe with all of you. Now, if you have seen my previous hot chocolate bomb video, I make my bombs using a no mold egg method. But if you are using silicone molds, you can still follow along. Just use the timestamps in the description box skip the egg method and join us at the end for putting together the flavors. We start by cutting a square piece of saran wrap and giving it a light dusting of cornstarch. Cornstarch is very important to prevent the eggs from getting stuck inside the chocolate. Melt your chocolate, it should be fully melted but not too hot, and get your eggs out of the refrigerator. They need to be cold for this process to work. Wipe the eggs with a paper towel to remove the moisture and tightly wrap the saran wrap around the egg. Twist the plastic and hold it tight to make sure it doesn't unwrap. Dip the egg into the chocolate, just above the thickest part of the egg. Hold it out for 10 seconds and dip it again to make sure our shell is thick enough. Place the egg in an empty carton diagonally from each other so your chocolate doesn't smudge. Put the eggs in the freezer for about 10 minutes for the chocolate to set. Now that the eggs are all set, twist the egg out gently from the shell and gently peel out the wrap. Get all of your half shells ready and let's move on to the next part. To get the flavor of caramel raspberry mochaccino, we need to incorporate into the bomb the flavors of caramel, raspberry, and coffee. And there are several ways to go about it. To get the caramel flavor, I'm going to melt down some caramel candy and drizzle it on top. For raspberries, you have your two choices here. You can use flavored jello powder, or if you can get your hands on it, buy freeze-dried raspberries and make a powder from them. I did a taste test with both, and they both taste nice, but you get a much stronger and more authentic raspberry flavor with a powder from freeze-dried raspberries, which is what I will be using in mine. For coffee, you can choose between instant coffee or instant espresso, or even decaf if you're making it for kids. I think I will stick with uh, instant coffee for this one. Let's line up our ingredients to begin the assembly. Note on the raspberries. They love absorbing humidity from the air and become one big lump. So if you're not going to consume the bombs right away, mix up the raspberry and instant coffee before putting it into the bomb to avoid clumping. Put on your food safe gloves to prevent your hands from melting the chocolate spheres. And let's get started. Heat up a plate in the microwave. Take a half a sphere and melt off the rough edges. Load it up with a teaspoon of raspberries, teaspoon of coffee, and I'm adding a little bit of sugar, but that's optional. It really depends how sweet you would like your drink to be. Then add as many marshmallows as you can fit. Melt off the edges of a second half a sphere and tightly close the bump. If there are any gaps, just fill it with melted chocolate. Pop the bombs back in the fridge for the chocolate to set. While the chocolate is setting, let's melt our caramel. The package here says that to melt the whole pack, I need to heat up the candy with two spoons of milk or cream. I only need half a package for this, so, so I will add one tablespoon of milk. 
when the caramel is ready, uh, cool it down just a little bit um, and we can drizzle it either with a spoon or a bag. I'm gonna try a bag. So the bag was not the best idea. It ended up being way too hot for my hands. I still did it, but in a note to my future self, wear either a heat proof gloves or skip the bag altogether and just uh, drizzle it with a spoon. I'm going to sprinkle the caramel while it's still warm with remaining raspberry powder. And now they're ready to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and tune in in a couple of days for my next flavor.